as a tenant today. We happen to be an engineering firm that, that works with a lot of our clients to uh, achieve their energy goals and helps them get there and plan to get there. But it, today I just want to talk about what we did in our building. So we've been in our building since 1988. In 2005 we approached our, our landlord about a program that, that we were familiar with through NYSERDA, New York State Energy Research Development Authority, whereby NYSERDA would fund uh, cost share a study to do a comprehensive study of the entire building um, from utility, analyze utility costs, operations costs and procedures, uh, how, how people are running their buildings, what systems they have in their buildings and how to improve. So we went, um, we actually did the study in our building, uh, which was, was nice. We're, we're living in the building. We wanted to be the ones that were involved in improving where we live. So we went through the, we went through the building. We did the study on, on behalf of um, NYSERDA for the landlord and identified probably a dozen energy saving measures in a building that is about 60,000 square feet off this about 30,000 square foot warehouse. Um, we presented the study to the landlord. The landlord was uh, very happy with some of the items, but the landlord happened to be uh, just moving on to selling the building then, so they didn't implement any of the items. But when we got our new landlord in, we brought, the, we brought that same study to the landlord, and we spoke to them about how they could implement um, some of the items in the study. And they started to do that. Um, they hit some of the easy ones on um, lighting controls in, in core areas, energy efficient lighting in the core areas. Um, they were working on a building, HVAC building controls update, which uh, they were retrofitting as they did different tenant spaces. So they started down that path and they're, they're hopefully continuing down that path to implement. Now the point the point of this is, is as, a, as a tenant, you don't have to be an engineering firm to know about some of the programs out there. Our sponsors, uh, Con Edison, they have a great program, very similar to the NYSERDA program, and they have other programs as well, some stu study programs, some rebate programs. So as tenants, we can bring to our landlords, um, if they're not already um, landlords like, like we have up here, uh, we can bring them some of that education and help uh, make the buildings uh, a better place, more efficient, and such. So that's what we brought to our, our landlord. Uh, then when we were looking to expand our space, um, we, we had about 6,000 or almost 7,000 square feet we wanted to expand. We went to our landlord and said we wanted to do a, a environmentally friendly expansion the best we could. And the landlord was very receptive to that, and we talked about some of the things that we could do within the allowance, some things that might not be, uh, might be outside of the allowance, and the landlord was very cooperative in, in doing that. And some of the things we did, we, we changed out, um, we went well above building standard in lighting um, to decrease the lighting usage in our space. We installed occupancy sensors you know, in all the uh, conference rooms and all the private offices. We also installed daylight dimming in the perimeter office, which uh, the daylight dimming system will, will dim down the lights in a space as the outside light is, uh, is present. And it'll bring it back up as you lose the, uh, as you lose the daylight. We, uh, we also, um, I mentioned before, they were working on a control, so part of our expansion space got the updated control system as we were working with the, the landlord on that. Um, we also did um, green certified carpet, green certified tile, um, low VOC paint. And if you haven't if you haven't experienced low VOC paint in a retro space, it's it's been around for a while now. But you can be painting right in the space with occupants, and, and you don't smell the paint. Versus, you know what it's like when someone's painting nearby, or someone's painting in another space in the building, and you can smell it throughout the building. So just that little thing that we spoke to our landlord about doing was, was just very easy for us to do a renovation in a space that we were still occupying. And we also, um, our old landlord did not have a recycling program at all. We were doing our recycling on our own. So we went and spoke to our, our new landlord who immediately started to implement some recycling components. Um, we're still working on getting that to where, where it really should be. But they were very receptive to 
everything that we were talking about and the things that we were bringing to the table. So there was the two. We talked to them about what they could do with the building and they're implementing some of that and we also talked to them about what we could do within our space. So I think as a tenant, there's those opportunities to speak to landlords and about what they can do in their buildings and space and, and help make it happen. Thank you.